because the schools very actively respond to the needs and desires of their students, sometimes they require unique resources. Are there any particular things in your community that you feel are, are, are like particularly special to your community? Hmm, that's a great question. I'm mm. thinking of the request for the infinity pool and the pony yeah. that we <laughs> <laughs> comply with. But I'm just thinking that this that you things that you wouldn't see in a, in in a other school setting, yeah. maybe the skateboarding, because that yeah. wouldn't be allowed, I guess, in a in a, <laughs> in a local school. school. But even at that, you see yeah. a lot of the what what has tended to happen. We have the general resources, and then after that, people resource themselves mm, really. Yeah. They bring in their own. Um, now it's not to say they they couldn't. They could put in a school meeting request for something. Maybe the treehouse would be a good mm-hmm. example of something mm-hmm. that was probably pretty unique. A student did put in a request to. There was a lovely tree, kind of that was coming to the end of its life, just right beside the astro, and he had this idea that building a treehouse there with a lookout gallery over the pitch would be nice. So mm-hmm. he put in a request to, you know, have the money spent on the materials and came up with a plan and. Mm. built that with staff so that is mm. a pretty unique feature here i think people mm-hmm. know it. we're so used to seeing it now mm. we don't even think about it right. anymore <laughs> but it's a great space you know it's another it's another one of our spaces that we've added on over the last few years this is the agentic schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.